<coughs> What's up, guys, and welcome to the Tim Sports Talk. And today we are going to do what a lot of you have been asking me to do is a first round mock draft. Uh, I'm going to do it not as a predictive model, but what I believe teams should do in their situation to make their team better. Um, so that's how I'm looking at this. Not as in I think this is necessarily going to happen because a lot of teams will do crazy things that you will surprise you. But that's how I'm going to do it. Okay, we're just going to do round one. We're going to select all the teams and let's draft. All right. Got to get your Reese's. Reese's very good. One a day keeps the doctor away, right? No. Oh, wait. That's apples. Okay. Here we go. So this is how I believe each team should draft. I'm also not going to do any trades, okay? So no trades. It's just going to be where everybody is and what players they should take. Um, we'll go through the first ones a couple. Easy. Of course, you got Trevor Lawrence, number one. Even though I may think Zach Wilson might be a little bit better, but that's okay. Trevor Lawrence, that's their guy. They're going to take him, and I think that makes sense. Zach Wilson, number two. I think he has the Pat Mahomes gene. I think he's fantastic. The arm is through the roof. Got to go number two. San Francisco, that's the big one that everybody's weird about and don't know where they're going to go. Apparently, we know they're going quarterback, but who? I say it's obvious, Justin Fields. You got to take Justin Fields. No questions asked, of course. And that's I, I just don't think that there's any really thing that makes sense. Uh, a lot of people think that maybe Atlanta would take a quarterback. I don't think that they should take a quarterback. Matt Ryan should have another good five years in him. He's still a really good quarterback. Not not a top-tier quarterback, but really good. Puts up the numbers, so they're not going to go there. I think they're going to go Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts, the best player in this draft, in my opinion. I think he's through the roof. Great tight end, and uh, I, I think that he is definitely worthy of going number four overall. Pair him with Julio Jones. Pair him with a Calvin Ridley. Pair him with, I believe they have Hayden Hurst as their tight end now. Uh, they've already attacked their O-line for uh, quite a bit of time, so I don't think they're desperate for a lineman. And even if they want one, they can go later. And then I think the rest of the draft, they should go defense. Bengals, obvious. Pine Suell. I know that there's some talks about Jamar Chase because Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, blah, blah, blah. Joe Burrow just got hurt. Why? Because the Bengals' offensive line stinks. Pina Suell, freak of nature, left tackle. Got to go with him at number five. Jamar Chase, number six. This is the reason that Miami traded back and then traded up. They still wanted to get a nice weapon. Jamar Chase, best receiver in this draft. Got to go number six. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The Lions. What do I think the Lions should do? Now, they got Jared Goff in a trade. They're definitely a building team right now. They got a new head coach, uh, and uh, they're definitely in a weird situation. I think they're in a prime situation to go ahead and take Trey Lance. Uh, this is – people think that, oh, the people may trade up to this spot. I think the Lions are just going to grab them up. Lions are in no position to win now, and – they have a chance to get a potential quarterback, and they have Jared Goff to, for him to sit behind, where I think Trey Lance is a little bit of a project, maybe a year or two, where he could sit behind Jared Goff. Jared Goff, you're paying a bunch of money anyway. Let him play, and we'll kind of skate by the next few years, but Trey Lance will be the future. You get him on the fifth-year option. Great, great opportunity there. The Panthers. Panthers. Now, they need a left tackle. They also need some corner. And I think they need, like, there's, those are like the two main needs I know. And also, I wouldn't hate if they went this guy of, let's see, this one's going to get a little bit weird, a little bit tough. Who do you want as the Panthers? I think the Panthers should go ahead and just take the best player available in this spot. And who's a freak? They could still get a left tackle later. And that's Micah Parsons. He's just an athletic beast. Uh, he'd probably go number four if it wasn't for the off-the-field issues. Uh, but Micah Parsons, absolutely monster and definitely, definitely worthy of pick number eight. The Broncos. Some people think that the Broncos might go quarterback. I think that's ridiculous. I like Drew Locke. They have to go Rashawn Slater. Rashawn Slater, they have to start beefing up that O-line to give Drew Locke some time. Cortland Sutland's going to come back for Drew Locke. I think Rashawn Slater makes a ton of sense. Now, the Cowboys. Cowboys, they wanted Kyle Pitts. They couldn't go up and get him because we're not trading in this one. They already got their quarterback. Their offense is pretty set. Um, they have an aging offensive line, but I don't think they go O-line in here. I think they're going to go corner, and it's actually going to be somebody kind of surprising. And I think they go Caleb Farley. Caleb Farley, I think, is the best corner in this draft. It's really just the back that's the problem, but he got cleared by the doctors. I think Caleb Farley is clearly the best one-on-one -on -one corner in this draft. I think they go ahead and reach up for Farley. All right. 
Keeping it going with the Giants. Giants are another situation that's very, very interesting. Some people have them taking a receiver, but they are pretty darn stacked at receiver. I like Sterling Shepard. I like Darius Slayton. And then they just got Kenny Galladay. Do they still want to go receiver? That's the interesting question mark. They also got Andrew Thomas for, as a tackle last year, so I don't know if they're going to go tackle. Uh, they got James Bradbury. The corners are not necessarily huge. I think they should go. This is tough. This is tough, right? Because you got some interesting receivers, and this 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 is like because they're a team that. Is kind of built to win now, and they got they just have to win the quarterback. They have to get the quarterback right, and if Daniel Jones can show up at all, they're a really really good squad. Um, because they're gonna get Saquon Barkley back. They got a better receiver. The offensive line will have another year. Um, I think, th and the defense was really really good last year. Blake Martinez. They did lose their D tackle, which kind of makes me want to take Barmore, but uh, I don't think Barmore can go pick, pick number eleven. This is tough. This is a really tough tough pick. I was the Giants. Who would I go here? I think if I was the Giants, I would take. I'm thinking either Ed Rusher or Elijah Vera Tucker. Um, keep on getting that protection for Daniel Jones, or add another rusher to get to after the quarterback. I think is the ticket, and. I'm going to go edge. I think the edge, uh, I'm going to go Ojolari. I think that Ojolari will definitely help their defense continue to get better. They already have Lawrence. Uh, they lost their D tackle in uh, Dalvin Tomlinson. They got another good rusher, and I can't think of his name, but I think adding depth at that position helps a team like this that could make the playoffs potentially and do really well. All right, so that's interesting. This one is obvious. They got to go Devontae Smith. For the Eagles, they keep trying to hit receiver over, over, and over again, and the receivers continue to keep on stinking it up. They got to get Jalen Hurts a weapon. Devontae Smith, I think, is the best receiver here, and it makes a lot of sense. So Devontae Smith goes at number 12. Even though I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of Devontae Smith, I'm not a big fan of wide receivers in general in the first round, uh, but he's got a ton of talent. I think this is a little bit of a prediction thing, but also I think it just makes a ton of sense. Go ahead and get Devontae Smith. I think this also is obvious. They're going to go Christian Derisaw. They're going to try to protect that young quarterback, Justin Herbert. Christian Derisaw, uh, a left tackle that I'm not necessarily huge on, but he's got the size. He's got the strength. Um, I th he needs to work on his knowledge of understanding of who he's supposed to block and uh, understanding when he's supposed to get off the double team. I think they can coach him up on that. I think he goes number 13. Vikings. Vikings are in a weird, weird spot, and they may just go ahead and take – Jalen Waddle. Why? Because Jalen Waddle is, I know they need defense. They definitely need defensive help. And I'm not surprised, but Jalen Waddle is a guy that could be a fantastic pairing with Adam Thielen and Justin Jefferson. Jalen Waddle, more of a Deshaun Jackson type. They could take the top off the defense, give them an extra dynamic where they already have Dalvin Cook in the run game. They have Kirk Cousins. They have Justin Jefferson. Um, I think Jalen Waddle is an interesting spot. The Vikings definitely have some holes that they need, but I think this is a this is a good match where it could be get a, give them another uh, weapon in the pass game. Patriots, 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 Patriots. They may fall in love, and I think they should fall in love with a quarterback later in this draft. Probably Mond or Davis Mills. So I don't think they're going to go Mond. I think they're going to go ahead and get a Stephon Gilmore replacement. In Patrick Sertain. I think that makes sense. Uh, they have a lot of holes, but go ahead and get another really good corner. And I think they are happy that he fell to number 15 and go at number 15. All right, the Cardinals. The Cardinals need to protect Kyler Murray, but they also need a bunch of defense. They just signed James Conner. I don't think they're interested in a running back. Um, this is an interesting spot for sure for the Cardinals. You know what? They did just lose Patrick Peterson. Getting another corner will be interesting. Um, the Cardinals are another team with a decent amount of holes. It's hard to just fill all of them in one pick. Um, you know what? They did lose Patrick Peterson. I don't know any of their other corners, so let's go ahead and give them J.C. Horn. Um, it could go Newsom. I don't care. Pick your poison, whatever you want. I'm going to go pick J.C. Horn. Um, I think the Raiders should go ahead and get a nice defensive weapon in J.O.K. 
Uh, JOK is not really a linebacker, in my opinion. He's more of a strong safety, but I think he pairs up well with Abrams, and uh, Abrams could be more of your free, and he could be your strong slash box safety. I think he's a good weapon overall on defense. I like JOK at pick number 17. The Dolphins, they already got Jamar Chase, and I think they're going to go ahead and scoop up Najee Harris. Najee Harris obviously already played with Tua a couple years ago, and I think that would be a great match made in heaven there. Uh, Najee Harris, I do believe, is the next Derrick Henry. He's got great size, great speed, great strength. He is a beast, and going number 19 makes a ton of sense. Now, Washington. Washington needs the quarterback desperately, and if this is if this is how it all panned out, they may end up going Mac Jones. I would not be happy about it. So I, the, I'm... Uh, this is not a prediction. I This is what I would want them to do. And I like Elijah Vera Tucker. I like Jamie Davis. I like Zayvon Collins. But everybody knows on this channel, I'm a Tra Trayvon Mary fan. I think he's the best player available at this spot. I think he's fantastic. And he fills a need. We've had a free safety need forever. I think we can get a tackle next round. And I think we can get a linebacker in the third or fourth for that matter. I think there's some good depth at both tackle and linebacker where free safety is not nearly as deep. You don't know where Caden Stearns is going to go. And I, I like Trayvon Mary, best player available right there. I think Mac Jones w should go to the Bears. Uh, they're desperate for a quarterback. And uh, Mac Jones could be an interesting guy for them. And Andy Dalton is not the answer whatsoever. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Colts. <coughs> Colts, 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 Colts. Colts are in such a great situation. They got they got such a great young team. Um, let's go ahead and do the Colts. I was the Colts. Their all line is already fantastic. Their defense is nice and young. I'm gonna go ahead and give them Newsom. I think Newsom makes a lot of sense. Give them another corner. Uh, help against the pass game. I'm going to give the Colts Newsome, and I, but I love the Colts. I think they're in a great spot. All right, the Titans. The Titans, Titans, Titans. Titans went left tackle last year, and they already got rid of him, and it did not work out. Um, they may want to go tackle again, but if I was the Titans, if I was the Titans... They just lost Corey Davis. You know what? I like the idea of going edge because I think getting them some pass rush. They they wanted Jadavion Clowney to be that last year. He couldn't really give them something. So you know what? Edge is extremely important in this league. I'm going to go ahead and give them Quiddy Pay. Uh, Joseph Osai might be a little bit better. I don't know for sure, but I think they're going to go edge. You can pick it apart in the comments whether you think it should be Osai or Quiddy Pay. Uh, but I think getting them an edge would make a lot of sense. Jets. Jets. They just got their quarterback. They have tons and tons of holes. But let's go ahead and give them best player available. And I think Elijah Vera Tucker is a stud. They can put him anywhere. They already got their left tackle last year in, from Louisville. Um, go ahead and give them Elijah Vera Tucker. That would be awesome to get some protection for their young quarterback. Elijah Vera Tucker makes a ton of sense. I think he's extremely talented. Steelers, 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 Steelers. They could go a couple of different directions. A couple of different directions, right? They could go edge. They lost Bud Dupree. They could go O lineman because O lineman's definitely a big need. And you know what? That's what I'm going to give them. I'm not huge on running backs. Uh, I know Tra a lot of people like Travis Ntieni, and I think he's good, but I think I'm going to give them Tevin Jenkins. I think Tevin Jenkins makes a ton of sense. they got to build up that offensive line. I think Tevin Jenkins is a beast. Uh, he played right tackle in college. You could probably put him anywhere, uh, either tackle, honestly. Uh, he's got good size, great, great strength, um, and he is a beast. I like that pick for the Steelers. All right, now the Jaguars. The Jaguars are a very interesting spot. They got nice young receivers. I don't like that uh, to go like a receiver here. Um, they're in an interesting spot. Very, very interesting spot. They could pick. A, they could go a lot of different directions. They're a nice young team with Urban Meyer. They just got Trevor Lawrence, um, and their line is actually not terrible already. So I'm going to go ahead and give. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting. Who do they want to go? This is a tough spot. And if I was the Jacksonville Jaguars, where would I go? They're a team that's building. 
Very interesting. If I was the Jaguars, who would I want here if I was the Jaguars? Jaguars, 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 Jaguars. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take edge. Ed defensive line and offensive line is extremely important, and they're a team that's building. They just got their quarterback. Let's go ahead and give them another edge rusher uh, to help get after the other team's quarterback. Um, I don't think they're in a position where they're very uh, – like really filling some interest, like some holes or whatnot. Uh, as far as like, they're not like one or two pieces away. So let's go ahead and just beef up that D line and go from there. This one Browns makes a ton of sense. Go Zayvon Collins. Zayvon Collins has a ton of upside, and I and pick number twenty six makes a ton of sense. They also need linebackers desperately, um, and they're a team that could definitely win now. And uh, Zayvon Collins could be a great, great addition. Ravens, 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 Ravens. They need receivers desperately for Lamar. Um, and do you go Bateman or do you go Terrence Marshall? Do you go Bateman or Terrence Marshall? I honestly think that Terrence Marshall has a little bit more upside. I think so. I'm going to go ahead and give him Terrence Marshall. I think they need to get a receiver here. They got to beef it up. They got to do something. And uh, they've tried with Marquise Brown. I think they're going to go ahead and go Terrence Marshall this time and enjoy it. All right, Saints. Saints need a quarterback as well, but they have Jameis, so they could rock with him. Um, who did they all? Who did they lose? Um, they did lose a corner. Is there any good corners left? Maybe Melifonwu. Maybe. Let's see here. Who else did they lose? I don't know. It's interesting because I know they lost uh, Janoris Jenkins. We're pick number 28 right now. They already have Demario Davis. They got Cameron Jordan's getting older. O-line's really good already. Tough one here. I'm going to go ahead and give them... I want to give them here. This is a tough one. Tough, tough, tough. They already got Kamara. Do they still have Latavius Murray? I don't know now. They may have lost him. You know what? They need a tight end. Let's go Pat Fryermuth here. Uh, they're, what's his name? Um, oh, my God. His name just went out of my head. Their old tight end. Uh, Jared Cook was not it. They already got rid of him. Go ahead and get them one of the better tight ends in this draft, second best tight end, and uh, give them Pat Fryermuth for a nice safety blanket for Jameis Winston. All right, Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers, everybody's desperately begging them to give them a receiver to pair up with Devontae Adams. And... A good pairing with Devontae Adams could be, honestly, if I was the Packers, if I'm looking at who's available here, honestly, I like the idea of pairing a Devontae Adams with a Kadarius Tony. Not necessarily the biggest fan, but I think he I think he compliments Devontae Adams well, and uh, I think giving him uh, Aaron Rodgers another weapon would be really good for the Packers. I know their defense could probably use some help there, but uh, I don't know. I think giving them a Kadarius Tony would be a good, good weapon. All right, the Bills. Bills have to go front seven, and I think they're going to be pleased with one of these defensive line. I'm just going to give them the best defensive lineman available, Christian Barmore the highest rated according to this network at least. Um, and if they went one of these edges, I wouldn't be upset about it, but they have to go front seven. Um, and Christian Barmore would be a great guy up in front. They have to be able to stop the run. That was a big problem for them last year, and I think that's where they'll go. Uh, the Chiefs have to go tackle. Um, I'm not biggest Samuel Cosby fan, so I'm going to give them Leatherwood. they got to get a tackle because they got rid of both tackles. And then to finish it up, the Super Bowl champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers 
have a plethora of options here because they have a good, well-rounded team. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give them a corner, and I'm going to give them Ifitu Melafonwu because one of their biggest problems was the corner. Like Their corner spot was terrible. Like You could think of Tyreek Hill in the pre- the regular season game who went off for 200 yards. Um, I think the pass – their pass defense is struggling. They have a great front seven. Devin White, obviously, bo- uh, beast in the middle. So I-, I like the idea of giving them a corner and going from there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the full results again. And this is what I would do if I was the GM for each team. And this is how I would roll. And, yeah, you guys let me know. What do you guys think about this? I'm sure all of you agree 1,000%. It's obvious. I've, I've never been wrong in my life, so I don't know why you guys wouldn't. And, uh, yeah, this is what I this is what I would do. And uh, uh, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Also, in the description below, there's a Discord link. Come in and talk some football with us. And last but not least, there are donation links in the description below. If you feel so kind, you could donate to the channel. And we got a new donator up there, Mr. Jameson for the $30 donation. Thank you so much for donating to the channel. Really, really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, it's unbelievable. Thank you very, very, very much. Seriously, it's it's awesome. And, uh, yeah, this this is my mock draft right here for the first round. I know you guys will tear it apart, but you guys let me know. And until next time, see ya!